Hello. Hope you are doing really well with your studies and rest of the things. Okay. And uh, this video is about not the previous year question solutions. This time I will be giving you some uh, basic shortcut tricks in order to solve the questions of permutation and combination both. So these are a very tricky thing. So remember that this is not I'm going to teach permutation and combination here. So that will be in a different video I will try. Uh, but here I'm going to give you some special shortcuts. So keeping in mind that you know permutation that is NPR and that is NCR. Now the first question is which is higher in value this one or this one. So obviously uh, the higher in value in this case is this. Why? For example 5P3. So this is factorial 5, factorial 3, sorry, factorial 2, that's it. But if it's 5C3, factorial 5, factorial 3 and factorial 2, you're subdividing something more. So obviously permutation value remains higher. So in general, permutation value is greater than combination value. Okay, or it is equal. So NPR greater than equal to this because in case of R equal to 0, there is an equality. This is the first part. Now, the second case is in case of circular permutations, mm -hmm. that is n factorial by n, this is n minus 1 factorial total ways, total ways for circular permutations. Next one is very interesting. This one actually is squares within a square. I first encountered this question in my Olympiad when I was giving the Olympiad. So they have given a board which is not a simple chess board like 18 to 8. It was around 20 into 20 board. Yes, they are playing 20 20 on this board. So 20 into 20 board which is a square and they asked us to find the total number of squares. So it was very tough. So how to find it? So let me give you a smaller board, a 3 into 3 board. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many squares are here? 9. Yes. And the bigger one is a square. So plus 1, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5 makes a square. Plus 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 makes a square. Plus 1, 4, 5, 7, 8 makes a square. Plus 1 and 5, 6, 8, 9 plus 1. So they get 14. So if you got a one, simple 2 into 2 format, 1, 2, 3, 4. How many squares are there? 4 plus the bigger one, 5. So the format is in case of 1 into 1, the square is 1. In case of 2 into 2, the square is 5. In case of 3 into 3, the square is 14. So obviously in case of n into n, there must be a formula. So this is 1 square, 1 square plus 2 square. 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. So this will be 1 square plus 2 square dot 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 n square. So this is a formula n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6. So squares within a square has a direct formula whenever you have it. So 20 into 20. So this 20 20 you can win if you just apply this formula. And all you have to do is a little bit calculation. But this is a very common question. Some of you may know it. But what happens if I ask you rectangles in a square? Now, I'm asking you a basic question. If there is a 7 into 7 square, what will be higher? The inner number of rectangles can be created by that or inner number of squares. Take your time. Pause it and think. Okay. What do you have thought? Squares. The first in your mind, it was the answer squares, possibly. But answer is rectangle. And the reason is, if I just draw this line, how many squares are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. But how many rectangles are there? So see, the whole is a rectangle. This one, one, two makes a rectangle. 1, 2, 3 makes a rectangle, 1, 2, 3, 4 makes a rectangle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 makes a rectangle. So the whole is a rectangle, 1, 2 makes a rectangle, 1, 2, 3 another, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then again 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 6, then again 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, then 4, 5, 
four, five, six in that way. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And where we only managed to get only six squares. So this is the magic. So obviously the total number of rectangles formed is higher than this. And this is this as a formula, sir? Answer is yes, sir. And the formula is n into n plus one by two square. Because this and the adjacent makes a square and due to double counting, if we do this, just remember the formula, it will be easier for the shortcut purpose. Now, if the table gets turned and the rectangle becomes the king, so how many rectangles within a rectangle? Now, this one isn't an easy shot. So total number of rectangles within a rectangle has a formula m into m plus 1 by 2 and n into n plus 1 by 2. Just remember the formula, apply it, it will be easier. So this is the rectangle part and actually it came from the formula actually 1 plus 2 dot 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 m into 1 plus 2 dot 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 n. Now you can ask me, what is this m and n? So m and n is in a bigger rectangle, m equal to number of rectangles on each row and number of rectangles on each column. You can take it in an alternative way also but that won't affect the answer. That's the beauty of this formula. And next is number of squares that are hidden in a rectangle. And that formula is mn plus m minus 1 into n minus 1, m minus 2 into n minus 2, and we keep on proceeding. So, for example, if you have a 10 into 7 rectangle, okay, so the total number of squares within it will be 10 into 7 plus 9 into 6 plus 8 into 5 plus 7 into 4 plus 6 into 3 plus 5 into 2 and plus 4 into 1. So this one is 70, 54, 40, 28, 18, 10, 4 and you can add it. Okay. Next on the basis of permutation combination is another trick is for example you have an expression a1 plus a2 dot 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 a n whole to the power m and they have asked you to find the total number of terms. So total terms in this expression is they are following a formula m plus 1 minus 1 c n minus 1. Remember this is a very precious formula. But what happens if the expression is of the same variable 1 plus x plus x squared dot 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 x to the power n whole to the power n. Then the formula is very easy, it is mn plus 1. You can check it by any two or three things, it will be easier for you. And the one is number of quadrilaterals Number of quadrilaterals can be formed if m parallel lines intersect in parallel lines. So what is happening? So then it will be mc2 into nc2. That will be the formula which you will be applying to get your answer. Now I am proceeding to some more advanced level. Now this one is the exponent of prime in a factorial. The exponent of prime in a factorial. So what is that thing? For example, 79 factorial. So in that, what will be the highest power of 2? They will ask you. So what you're going to do is 79 by 2, 79 by 2 squared. In that way, you will proceed until and unless you go to a number which is more than 79. So in this case, 4, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. So we leave at this. So this is 79 by 2 cube that is 8, 79 by 16, 79 by 32 and 79 by 64. So now you just do divide and this is 39 
And remember that we need to, we are taking the whole number only the box function. That is, if it's 39.25, we are taking 39. So 4, 20, 4, 19, 8, 9, 4, 2, and 1. So if we just add all these, then the number will be the highest power of 2 in the expression of 79. In case of i power of 5, then we do it with 5. And if they are, sometimes they ask, I is my favorite question, and CMI also, that what is the, they will give you an expression 1075 factorial, and they may ask you the total number of zeros at the end. So here we find the, for finding zeros, we go for 5. So 1075 by 5, 1075 by 5 square, 1075 by 5 cube, 1075 by 5 4, 1075 by 625. Okay, so it ends up here. So you just need to add these numbers and you will get the number of zeros at the end of the given expression. And remember that nowadays, uh, and uh, there are similar ways, uh, what is this, 5, 2, this is actually 5C2, sometimes it is also written as C, 5, 2, something is applicable for permutation as well, okay. So now, uh, some useful thing is done, uh, some fundamental principles of counting I have also given, okay. So now this shortcut, uh, another shortcut is, a ring finger problems or the problems or a letter and letter box. So in this kind of problems what happen is uh, like they will tell you there are five rings and seven fingers how to wear them or three letters and ten boxes how to post them. You think a lot and many kind of stuff, I say only one formula that is fixed to the power variable. That's it. So what is fixed? Your finger is fixed. So what is your finger? Seven fingers and ring is five. That's it. What is fixed? The letter box is 10 to the power three. How it has been done? For example, the box one, box two, these are the boxes. The first letter can be any of these boxes that is in 10 ways. The second letter can also be posted in any of the boxes again 10 so this is 10 to the power 3 ways is the basic format okay so it is fixed to the power variable whenever they are giving you any questions on this this will be applicable and in uh, case of doing differentiation also how permutation combination is applied here is for example y equal to x to the power n so, and if I differentiate it n times, what will happen? So, dn x n. So, first time it will be n x my x to the power n minus 1. Second time will be n into n minus 1 x to the power n minus 2. In that way we proceed. So, actually we are going on n minus 1 n minus 2 dot 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 n minus r plus 1. At the end the power will be x to the power n minus n. So, that is nothing but n factorial in case of derivative of this kind of functions as well and remember that permutation is not when the permutation are applicable and when the combination when products are very much identical and you can't change so there we are applying combination and when they are identical not identical according to the given pattern they are changing we apply simply the permutation portion now Mm, there is another type of thing is so the very different sense like collection that a person is inviting his friends his 70 friends well must be a very famous person I have only one or two good friends actually because the rest of the people are only acquaintances so this person, maybe these are real friends and how can we invite them? So the process is 70, you can invite 70 out of 70, he invites to only 69 or he invites 35, he invites one of them or he invites none of them. 
So this is up to his choice. So how do we incorporate in a problem? So here we do it. So either 70 out of 70. As here people are only friends, you can see their faces, they are identical. So 70C, 69 dot 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 70C, 0. So the formula will be 2 to the power 70. And if they say that at least one friend has to be invited, so it ends up at 70C1, then the formula will be 2 to the power 70 minus 1. So the formula of the pattern is NC1 plus NC2 dot 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 NCN is 2 to the power N minus 1. That's it. That is your formula. This is the formula you will be looking for. And if it at least, then the only formula is 2 to the power N, ignoring 1. That's it. Now, in case this formula can be redefined in a way that I've seen one question in CMI's question and they given that if in this case the number of ways of selecting where there are R identical things, P identical thing of type 1 and this is of type 2 and maybe Q identical things of type 3 then what will be the problem so then the total number of way of picking is P plus 1 into Q plus 1 into R plus 1 into 2 to the power n minus 1 remember this minus 1 is separately subtracted okay so this one is a very interesting uh, way of putting the structures. Now in our next video on permutation and combination, I will give you much more insights on the devices or the number of the sum of the devices and this kind of stuff. Okay, thank you for now.